Hi, today is 1014 and I um, put up a word uh, some days ago. I'm going to post this video underneath this video. I'm going to link it in the description box and in the comment section. And it was called uh, Emergency Announcement, Nationwide Emergency Announcement. And I had a vision. And when I had this vision, the Holy Spirit spoke some words to me in the vision that His Word will not lie. And that it is, it is something like that. And um, it's in the making. He told me what it was at the time that I made the video. He didn't say, but he told me, he eventually told me what it was and a little after. And I, even though I knew what it was, I have to sit on it and wait. I can't do anything and release anything until he tells me. Um, he just gave me a new word and in this word he told me to reveal the fact that he had told me and what it was that he had told me and this word will confirm that he said to me that when he said it was in the making he told me that they was working behind the scenes on it that they're dividing they're going to divide the land of Israel that that's what they're working on behind the scenes and he said that um, he was angry um, and he said that when they do this he says that he's going to divide this land that is what he had told me he spoke to me he was angry and he said they divide his nation, his land. He's going to divide this nation. And so um, he just gave me a word and he asked me to put it up today. So I've got to get on it really quick. Um, that's what I'm working on now to get it out there to his children. So that you know what's coming. And this is why I had that... Um, vision about something was coming and um, he said to title this I am dividing this nation my word will stand I will not lie for no one and nothing I am Jesus Christ that came in the flesh I will speak and no one will be with the truth unless they surrender to me. I am going to bring the nation to its knees. Who will be a new creation in the kingdom? Who will surrender to me? Who will seek the truth before the destruction come? I will do a new way of being in the midst of a wicked people. I will divide the land because you are dividing the land I gave to the children of Israel. You will pay. I will defend my people. I will defend my bride. I will divide this nation. No one will be with my kingdom unless they repent. Come to me and repent before it's too late. And he asked me to reveal to you what I saw in the spirit. Well, this is what I saw in the spirit. I began to 
feel um, with my gift, I can, because I can see um, I began to see in the spirit Yeshua walking with a long white raiment on and I could see lightning coming from his hands and I began to feel his power the anger and the power and I remember I told him I said you are beautiful and I said oh my gosh I see what you're doing and I said you're moving and you're moving quickly he was moving fast he began to move I seen him standing and then it's like he started walking but then it's like he was moving quick he began to move quick and his anger and the the he I I remember telling him I see you moving and I told him I said don't leave me behind and I said I want to be right there with you and I said hold my hand and I'm going to be by your side all the way and he began to weep through me and he was quickening me and weeping and he said I will never leave you my bride and he said I will take you with me and I told him I want to be with him all the way he said we will and I told him I said your power is scary but it's beautiful at the same time you're beautiful and he was just quickening me down and that's what I saw and what he said to share this image share this with you guys because this is a spiritual image of what's happening in the spiritual realm for what he's doing in the physical realm that is the spiritual image of what he's doing he's moving quickly with these judgments and uh, his, he's angry and the power of his might is, is the judgments and the lightning coming from his hands is him speaking. And I felt danger. That is what, the, it's like, um, and the feeling was like danger, like immense danger. It was scary, but it was, he was beautiful in his power, but it was like a deadly danger. That's what I felt like a deadly danger. And see, I had woken up like about a week ago when I woke up, I heard the word death. I just heard it out loud, death. And I thought, what in the world could be happening that is going to bring death? I know things are coming, but I was thinking, what in the world it came to me it was something he's going to do but whatever it is it's going to bring death and obviously now this it's like the puzzle pieces are coming together this must be the thing that's going to bring death and um that's all that i have right now for this but um I, he's giving me things back to back to back. And so I'm just going to tell you guys, I am trying to get it up fast as he give it. So he's been giving me some really strong things lately, strong words. He's not playing and he's asking you to come and repent. He's not playing. The people have abused his love and his kindness and taking him for granted. And now he's coming hardcore that's what i'm getting he has tried to be nice and the people want repent they laughing and scoffing and mocking so now he's going to drop the hammer 
and he's coming hardcore, full force. And by the time he's done, the people are going to be on their knees begging in repentance. I'm going to read the scriptures that um, he gave me. And 1 John, the fourth chapter, the second verse says, Hereby know ye the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And he gave me Zechariah 12 and 3, and it states, And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. 